It's like when you're delivering a baby. <laughs> the doctors say, yeah, you got the head there. It's crowning. It's crowning. It's coming. Ah. Oh, God, no. It's not coming. I've maybe opened one or two wine bottles. Um, OK. I didn't know it was happy hour already. If you ever stranded up in the mountain, I heard that you could find a rock and you could rub. There's a cork in there. I have to get access to the cork. I'm just going to see if it's a twist off. OK, I'm too weak. Wow, this is going to be the saddest two minutes of my life. Let's just open this buddy up. Ooh. It's a little harder to peel than I thought it would be. OK, I have my cork exposed. Then you have to get the cork out. Do I use this? Maybe? No. What are you? I think maybe. This looks legit. I believe this is a wine opener. I think you're supposed to... Damn it, how do you do this one again? You just kind of, just kind of... Oh! Uh, you just kind of negotiate here. Uh, it's actually, it's uh, you twist it, is what you do. I don't know what this is for. Oh, this is a fancy corkscrew. It's not going in. Just drill it on down there and, oh. Oh, God. I'm screwing the screw into the top. Guess all we need now is like some pliers or something. Oh, my God. There is a particular way which is very easy. I know it's not involving you or you. I'm about to break your wine open. I just pull it out? Oh, wait, it's coming out. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. It's cheering for me. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> and then we pour it. You know, um... Uh, maybe there's another step. I got this. First thing you want to do is that you want to peel away the top, and you always cut below this lip. There you go. Corkscrew time. You want to place the top. At an angle. You address the bottle. Hello, bottle. Screw it down. Twist, twist, twist. And then you use this little lever on the side. You just lever it up. This is my preferred tool to open wine. You twist it down. I think it's just easier to apply pressure on the corkscrew and rotate the bottle. These arms are supposed to come up. Push it down. Pop it out. I was told that if you can hear the bottle go, you did not do it correctly and you're fired. I usually just put the bottle between my legs to secure it and then just pull. We're gonna open a bottle of wine today. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut the foil. We wanna avoid the contact of the aluminum with the wine because wine's acidic and so that's gonna change the flavor profile. I make sure I come nice and low so that there's no chance that the foil is going to come in contact with the cork itself. The next thing we're gonna do is drive the screw into the cork. You can do it at an angle so that you can find the center point and just drive that in and then straighten it out as you go all the way down to the last screw so that we don't break the cork in half. This little piece right here is designed to sit on the lip of the wine bottle, and you're gonna support that so that the uh, backside of this lever is against your hand. And then you're just gonna gently pull and remove. We're gonna simply pour here. Good rule of thumb, don't pour above the break in the glass, the point at which the glass turns back inward on itself. And in a very short amount of time, we have a bottle of Pinot Noir.